today I'm going to talk about land registries and blockchain so land registries is a very practical use case for blockchain and land registries means um, how land real estate transactions can be streamlined or made faster using blockchain so in the current day this is how the real estate transactions happen a uh, seller decides to sell a piece of land or uh, or the, or a house or an apartment the seller contacts uh, a real estate agent who helps the seller to list the property for sale on a real estate website buyers can search through this website look for appropriate properties that they like contact the seller decide to make an offer write up that offer on a on a formal uh, contract con uh, by contract and then present that offer to the seller the seller can then evaluate all the offers that they receive on their property and select one of the offer once the offer is selected the buyer is notified the buyer then has to contact their bank to arrange the fund transfer uh, the buyer could have uh, sufficient cash to make it uh, to buy the property in cash alternatively the buyer has to contact the bank to arrange for a mortgage or a loan to make that purchase happen when the bank receives a request for a mortgage for a property the bank would contact one of its surveyors to assess the value of the property and compare it with what the buyer is willing to pay if there is reason if there is if it falls within the range uh, the bank will issue the loan because bank does would not want to take risk of paying for a property much more than its market value even though the buyer is willing to do so so in this process once the bank receives the information from the buyer or sorry from the uh, from the surveyor uh, the bank could then issue the loan to the uh, to the buyer buyer informs that to the agent and the transaction happens so the transaction for the transaction to happen the sale or the change of ownership in australia we need to hire a settlement agent a settlement agent ensures that the uh, property transaction happens smoothly and it is the job of the settlement agent to ensure that the utility bills such as electricity gas water telephone internet everything is measured exactly on the day of settlement and the names and then the uh, all these accounts are transferred to the new owner and so this is the first step and the next thing that the settlement agent does is once this is processed uh, uh, the settlement agent launches a, a request for change of ownership to the government authority and this entire process starting from the time that the seller decides to put the property on market to the time it is sold and the transfer of ownership happens it takes fair bit of time probably month or a couple of months uh, if it uh, if the bank has to issue a loan and assess the property and so on so that is a problem that uh, many countries are now trying to assess uh, address as to how can this be made any faster how can the property transactions be much faster and much more real time this is where blockchain comes into the picture now let us see foresee a scenario of where blockchain streamlines this process so the first step in blockchain let's assume that uh, a blockchain based based platform is implemented for real estate transactions the first and foremost would be identity management so anyone who wants to be part of the uh, part of this platform say the buyer the seller or the real estate agent or the settlement agent or the bank everyone needs to uh, have their identity verified this identity verification uh, can be done by a third party uh, who provides identity management services they would request the relevant parties if it's people their uh, driver's license their passport the utility bills or or any other way any other method to authenticate the identity to prove the identity uh, of that particular uh, entity and this is very important in a blockchain based platform 
because when we are doing transactions online we need to know we need to make sure that the person who is acting in the transaction is the real person and we have a real world identity associated with that transaction <clears throat> the next step is the buyer searches uh, sorry the seller uh, looks for potential uh, um, real estate agents who would help to sell the property uh, this could be a search function on the uh, on the black blockchain platform uh, where the buyer where the seller selects the um, real estate agent contacts them uh, negotiates an offer and then formally hires them using the blockchain platform itself here the recruitment or the selection uh, could be executed as a smart contract using the blockchain where um, the buyer selects where the seller selects the real estate agent so that could be one smart contract once that is executed it uh, it is it is binding and it is it is recorded forever on the blockchain the next step is the buyer the, the seller can then advertise the property receive offers from potential buyers and these offers traditionally are received on a paper however in the blockchain based uh, blockchain based platform we we foresee we envision that such such offers would be made digitally and uh, pre approved buyers or buyers on a white list uh, could be allowed to make an offer in real time on the blockchain platform so how do we whitelist a buyer so a whitelisting can be achieved by a number of things first to first is to check if the buyer is a cash buyer and if he if he or she is a cash buyer do they have enough funds on in their account so if they do uh, they would be whitelisted alternatively if it is going to be a mortgage application does the buyer have uh, pre approved loan uh, from their bank and if it is uh, and that is recorded on the blockchain then that that could be a way of whitelisting the buyer this is important because when a buyer makes an offer uh, he or she should be able to afford that uh, that transaction because once it gets executed on the blockchain it is difficult to uh, uh, turn back to change it so authenticated and uh, whitelisted buyers can make offers these offers are then presented to the seller uh, the seller can decide which which offer to accept and, rem and remember all this thing is happening on the online platform there is no face to face uh, interaction with anyone here uh, once the uh, seller accepts a buyer's offer uh, again a smart contract would be executed on the blockchain that would be uh, that would be recorded uh, which which will say that the seller x has approved or accepted the offer made by a buyer y this information is uh, is recorded uh, and will be there forever the next step is the actual transaction so for that like i mentioned previously we need to have a settlement agent and if it is a loan based uh, application the bank would have to uh, request uh, the services of a surveyor who would value the property so in this case the bank uh, assuming that uh, the buyer has already contacted the bank requested a surveyor to survey the blog uh, survey the uh, offer that information is already there so the bank uh, can assess and then accept uh, this transaction and allow the buyer to purchase that uh, purchase the property this change uh, this transfer of funds would be another smart contract that could be executed on the blockchain once this is done the settlement agent decides a date for the uh, for the um, in the traditional scenario the settlement agent would decide a date for this transaction to happen and the buyer's agent the seller's agent uh, will meet and do this transaction but now this is all done online and the last bit is when the uh, uh, settlement agent uh, puts this information uh, request this on uh, to sub sends this to the uh, government authority and this can also be done online now so as you can see the whole process of uh, acquiring a property or transacting a property on a blockchain would be much more faster so i have also written a white paper to explain this whole thing uh, you can review that uh, it's i'll put a link below this video and if you have any questions get back to me thanks again bye bye